today's video, we'll be looking at scary TikTok videos that are sure to keep you up at night. They found a witch inside an abandoned house. What? What's he holding? Oh no, nah. that does look a little creepy. And it just moved. Look at that. Hey, I'm spooked out. And it's dark out there too? Mm -mm. Like what if something just started running out of one of them doors? All right, let's talk about the goat man. This is a very famous urban legend from mm. Maryland. Now, this is apparently what the goat man looks like. He's got the head and feet of a goat and the body of a man. And he's often seen holding an ax. This is an image from a supposed real life sighting. I don't know. Yeah, I don't now, know about that Now, one story says that the goat man was once a scientist that was experimenting on goats. And well, he ended up getting mutated into one. Whereas other people believe that the goat man was a farmer that went crazy and started killing people. No matter what the origin story is, the goat man is really creepy. And there's a bunch of people that have claimed that they have encountered this goat man. Let me know your thoughts though in the comments below. Hmm. This is the dark yeah, I believe in goat man? truth behind the brand Balenciaga. Ooh. Let's start with their disgusting ad campaign. And no, I'm not worried about the devil drawing on the top right. Nope. What I am worried about is the caution tape on the bottom left that misspells Balenciaga B-A-A-L. If we search up B-A-A-L, we get King Ball, who in the Bible, if you sacrificed your firstborn child to him, you would get riches in return, as stated in Jeremiah 19.5. Kim Kardashian wore the tape as an outfit. It was spelled correctly, but it looks like she's no stranger to the word ball. Right. Balenciaga. Ball. Balenciaga. I'm a this is Lotta Volkova, who is the chief stylist of Balenciaga, and it looks like she's into some really sick things. Yeah, she is. Did this oh, 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 oh. Did I see that? Some people also believe this to be a skinwalker. What do you think? Yo, this mob came out of nowhere. Uh-uh. And it's up at the door. Look, look, looking inside. Yo, there's no way that this video is edited, man. Like, this looks real. Y'all tell me, y'all think this is real? What is that? <laughs> Why you got the door open? Oh no. Nah. You see his eyes? No. Puppy. You were just stood there at the bottom of the stairs, weren't you? Yeah? And you were you <clears throat> Hold on, hold on, let me read this for you guys. She waved and chatted to someone upstairs in the dark. I just caught my three year old Poppy talking to and waving to someone upstairs in the darkness. You know they do say kids see ghosts, so you were looking up the stairs into the dark and when you looked up there yeah you waved to somebody like that and you blew a kiss to them didn't you yeah so can you come here a minute yeah. can you tell mommy who you were waving to no why because i don't know who it is mm. okay well what did they look like no i was laughing why won't you tell mommy who it was Please tell me. But it's no, it's nobody. But you did wave to somebody, didn't you? I'm going to see who it is upstairs. No, no, don't go up. Just tell mummy who it was. But, but I'm just going to go and see her upstairs. Mmm, trying to go see her. Was it a girl? 
Is it a baby? Was it a man like daddy? Was it a big woman like mummy? Was it an old uh, woman like nanny? An older man like grandy? I think that kid is confused at the moment. It was a girl. Oh, it was a girl. Yeah. And what did they look like? Mm -hmm. It looks like me. It's her doppelganger, y'all. It looks like me. Was she young? Yeah. Is she your friend? No. She's not your friend, though? No. Is she not very nice? No. Is she mean? Yeah. Ooh. Does she, she say mean. mean things to you? Where where have you seen her before? Um, not nowhere. So They're really interrogating her. At the top of the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. When you wave at her and blow her a kiss, does she wave back and blow kisses back? No. no. What, what does she do when what you blow kiss? Do? She just bites me. Whoa, she Are you bites. Sure that's not apple. No. No. Did this man predict the Titanic tragedy 14 years before it happened? The novel, The Wreck of the Titan, written by Morgan Robertson in 1898, describes the programming sinking of an unsinkable ship that hit an iceberg in the North Atlantic bearing eerie similarities to the actual sinking of the Titanic 14 years later. Firstly, both vessels shared almost identical names, the Titan and the Titanic. Mm -hmm. Secondly, both ships had a shortage of lifeboats, making it impossible to save everyone on board. In the wreck of the Titan, there were only 24 lifeboats for 3,000 people, while the Titanic had 20 lifeboats for 2,226 people. Thirdly, both ships hit an iceberg on the starboard side, causing a fatal gash that led to their sinking. Finally, both ships sank in the North Atlantic about 400 nautical miles from Newfoundland. Coincidence or something more. And more importantly, most terrifying. Yo, to me that sounds like some type of predictive programming. I, I feel like, you know, the book was the script and then they went ahead and acted it out. Similar to, you know, when they make a movie about a book now videos you'll never seen. This video is from 2020 and it was recorded in Bogota, Colombia. In the video, a man starts to hear strange sounds at the airport called El Dorado. He decides to investigate and this is what happens next is downright chilling. ¿Dónde estás? Se prenden las luces. ¿Estás jugando con la llave? Look at that. Somebody playing with the faucet. And there's nobody in there though. Look. It's a ghost. Look at that. I'm gone. Look, he was right, scared so too. Let me explain this video because you guys are dying to know, even though I saw some comments whoa, people whoa, guessed whoa, it right. What? And no, this is not green screen, believe it or not. What? This is the top of an underground brick kiln. Places like Pakistan or India have a lot of these. Or it could be an underground oven as well, but a brick kiln is more likely. So no, it's not the depths of hell, but I saw this comment and it's really scary. Apparently let me read that, let me read that. It says, it's the top of a brick kiln in Pakistan. I know because I have seen it and walked on it. Pakistanis are made into modern day slaves by the brick kiln owners some owners have even thrown their slaves into that kiln to something apparently sometimes those kiln owners throw slaves into them to burn alive which is really sad anyways the mystery behind this has been solved there's so many surprising facts about cleopatra that are just not common knowledge like the fact that she was actually born closer to the invention of the iPhone than to the actual pyramids being built. And I just want to share a few more of them with you today Facts. because some of them are very dark. And a reminder, if you like the dark and spooky, you'll love the podcast. So first and foremost, Cleopatra was severely inbred. Most people have eight great grandparents, but Cleopatra only has two. Like, look at this. Hmm. So this is our girl, Cleopatra the Seventh. So her parents had the same grandparents. 
and her grandpa was her grandma's uncle. She was so inbred that some historians believe that myths of her beauty were actually just propaganda, and depictions of her at the time show her with features that are much more oh, exaggerated. So she was probably busted. She also married her little brother and had him killed. But she also liked to have fun. Her and Mark Antony used to just run around getting drunk in disguises so that no one knew who they were. The Egyptians at the time also had many different forms of birth control that they would use. And this one was maybe a bit before her time, but they would mix crocodile dung with honey and insert it via suppository. <laughs> They're saying she levitated. What? Y'all think this is real? Have you guys ever heard about the legend of the Fresno Nightcrawler? This legend started one night in 2007 at midnight when this man named Jose was woken up by his dog barking like crazy. When he went to look at his surveillance footage of what happened, he came across this white-legged, no-torso yeah, creature walking by his house. It also moved in a really strange way. Jose called the police after he saw it, but they couldn't do anything and it went viral after that. People have seen the Fresno Nightcrawler in the Central Valley and as far north as Yosemite Park. Some say that this creature is a spiritual being that protects the earth from harm. This creature apparently stands a meter and a half tall, so really short. This footage that he got has not been debunked yet. Some people think that this video was fake and that this creature was a puppet, but mm, a lot of people nah. think that this creature is real. There are sightings of the Nightcrawler all the time, primarily in the forest or on empty highways. I actually have a Fresno Nightcrawler plushie and I oh, love make plushies? him. He's handmade and from this awesome company called 16% Nation. You can actually get a discount on him from watching this video. If you use my code SPOOKY10, you will get 10% off your plushie and free shipping. Do you believe that this legend is real? Have you ever seen the Fresno Nightcrawler? Let me know in the comments. Wait for it. No <laughs> way. <laughs> 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 Closer towards me, and almost in my lap, Bebba. She's <laughs> <laughs> ready to run. What's going on here? I don't trust Bebba there anymore, Bebba. No, I'm all good. Thanks. <laughs> Why you moved out in the first place? <laughs> One of the reasons, You go. I'm all right. Hands up. We'll go together. Yeah, go together. They are. It always happens on TV. Yeah. I just don't even like it. That's it. Oh, she's up the stairs. Oh, my. No. Oh, did I go? Yo, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. No, I can't. There's nothing there. Oh, God. That's a creepy looking set of stairs right there. Oh no. The heck was that? No, 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 no. You got some boiling water? There's nothing out there. Hey, 
and it stopped. Okay, that's trippy. I have no clue what that was. That's your new friend? Yep, go inside. What are y'all doing if one of y'all kids just run up to you in the forest and say, hey, I got a new friend. And that was the new friend right there. Bro, we out of there. For real, we gotta go to the city. But yeah, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.